Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So this morning dad and I talked about it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a rod cap off the A and see what's going on. Get a look at the crankshaft and see what exactly it looks like. So I've already got my cotter pins part way out. I figured I better start a video. So I already straightened them out the best I could. Let's take a hammer and kneel most players and tap them out. So we're gonna see if we can take some shims out if the crank don't look bad and the caps don't look bad. Let's see if we can take shims out and see what happens. I mean, it's not like this tractor is going to uh, be doing thousands of acres of field work anymore. Them are pretty tight. Tighter than I thought they'd be. One loose. There we go. Okay, take this cap off and see what we have. Shim fell out. Hmm. Doesn't seem too bad. I'll have to have Dad come over and look at it and see what he thinks. Okay, so Dad looked at it and he said it should run just fine. And we've got plenty of shims that we can take out. So we've just got to figure out our, we got to leave an oil clearance. So we got to determine what shims we're going to take out and what shims we're going to leave in. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. So we're going to get that determined and We'll probably end up putting it back together. We'll have to get some plastic gauge. Yeah, we'll have to get the plastic gauge. I forgot about that. And I probably won't find that today. So. Okay, so we moved over to number one rod. Number two, Dad and I took some shims out. And uh, it's real promising. So we still got to get the plastic gauge and check it. But it seems like it's going to tighten up. So number one seems like... It could be our problem, child. Oh, good lord, they were tight. I have to go get my uh, ratchet and a socket. Okay, so I went and grabbed my uh, ratchet and socket. Need a little more leverage on it. I'm going to go on the other side of the tractor. There's too much stuff in the way on that side. Start on this one. There we go. Okay. So we'll get this rod cap off and have a look. These tractors seem to hit the hardest on number one. So this one's probably a little more worn than the other.
Oh boy. Yeah. Definitely not as pretty as the other one. Hmm. What do you think of that one? It's pretty rough. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're going to figure it out. Okay, so what Dad and I have determined is number one is pretty bad. The crank is smooth, though. That it looks rough, but that could just be some Babbitt transfer that we just clean up with some emery cloth, but it's smooth. So what we think we're going to do is we're going to call Rich at New Paris Tractor Parts Tuesday because they're not open Monday and uh, going to get his opinion on it. Maybe he's got a set of good rods of a A that the Babbitt's good in, and maybe I can just tear it down, pull the head off, swap the uh, rods out and put it back together um, as you can see the babbit is really thin on this one you can push it up with your finger so there really can't be much left in there so as of right now this project's on hold so i might do a little research too maybe i can get these rods remachined or put different rods in it with insert bearings and just do away with the babbitt bearings and go a different route so uh for now we're gonna go move on to other projects today and uh until we can figure out what we're gonna do with this number two is promising but number one it's just i there's no point in even putting it back together looking like that so I mean, the rest of that Babbitt comes out, then it's going to just be bad. So anyways, if you enjoyed this episode of Dirt Grain Steel, give me a like if you want to keep following this project. So I was reading through last night's video comments, and uh, my viewer Brian had said, and I did, this didn't even dawn on me, he said as easy as that oil pump came out of the bottom of that tractor, the oil feed line from the pump may have been broken. Well, it didn't even dawn on me until I read that comment, so I checked it. And I'm pretty sure that that line was broke because it didn't take me much effort at all to get this out. So I'm thinking, this was originally soldered on, I'm thinking that was broke, and you're right, Brian, that was broke. So the proper way to tear this apart is you have to take this cover off Go down there in, in there first and take that nut off that line. So this tells me at some point, somebody tore this tractor apart. They didn't know any better, kind of like me. And they pried on this until they ended up breaking this and breaking that. And didn't realize that they had done that and may have put it back together that way. And with that being broke, the screen being plugged up, it just couldn't pump any oil. And uh, it caused the issues that this tractor has. So that's just kind of a theory. But this was definitely, uh, it didn't take me anything at all to get this pulled out. So I bet anything this was leaking profusely. And that's what uh, reduced the oil pressure severely in this tractor. And plus being plugged up. So, uh, anyways, that's kind of what we've got figured out on the tractor. So, um, going to do some research, like I said, Tuesday, and uh, we'll figure out what we can do with it and get it put back together and make a running tractor out of it. So, this is going to be some good YouTube content, especially if I got to pull the head off and everything and put a uh, pull that cylinder out and put it all back together. So it's going to be pretty fun. So anyways, if you enjoyed this episode of Dirt Grain Steel, give me a subscribe and a like. If you want to keep following it, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.